Hey friends, Kelly here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on a page in my Coffee Traveler's Notebook. Kelly Stamps has recently put out a really cute, really fun Halloween stamp set and I am on the digital team so I got to play around with it and the minute I saw the stamp set I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to play around with the stamp that says which better have my. She has the words coffee or candy and I knew immediately it was which better have my coffee and so that's what I'm working with today. I also have on my desk a kit from Crate Paper. It is the Hay Pumpkin Collection. And then I am working with some printed digital papers from the Spooked Collection. And that's from Anita Designs, and I'm probably gonna say this wrong, Dunia Designs, and that is over on the digital press. I'll make sure to link everything below. So as I said, I'm working with a digital stamp and digital papers. So. The only product I'm adding is really gonna be anything I pull out of that Crate Paper um, Hay Pumpkin collection, which you can also get as a digital, so I'll make sure to link that as well. So right now I'm just going through the papers and pulling out ones that I like and gonna get started on this spread. Now, if you are a fan of Kelly Stamps, which I hope by now you are, if you've been following along on my channel, um, you might remember that you can take advantage of my personal discount code and get a little sale. If you spend $15 or more over on Kelly Stamps, you can get 10% off. So I will make sure to link that below. Make sure you head over to her site and check out all of her amazing stamps. Okay, so let's get into the process here. So I've gone ahead and picked out the papers that I know I wanna use. And for printing these papers, I did kind of a combo. I have some that are printed on copy paper, some that are printed on 32 pound paper, which is my absolute favorite paper, and then some are on cardstock. And then again, as I said, I have some pieces on vellum. Let me talk a few moments about the vellum. I have a laser printer that it does, just does black ink. And then I also have a color inkjet printer and I printed a copy on, on both. I wanted to play around with the uh, colored, um, colored in pumpkins, the colored in little pieces that I had. But then I also know that when it's just black, it's gonna look best on my laser jet. So I've gone ahead and I've printed both and I am going to go ahead and cut them up. Next thing I'm gonna do is go into the Hay Pumpkin collection that I have on my desk and start going through and finding any little pieces that I think I might wanna use. I also had these word stickers. I believe they were Tim Holtz from like a seasonal chit chat pack. I don't have the packaging anymore, so I'm not entirely sure, but they look like a Tim Holtz sticker to me. I couldn't find anything similar, but maybe you already have something in your stash like it. I know it was, like I said, all the, the holidays. So I found a sticker in there. It says Witch's Brew. I'm going to use that. And then I've gone ahead and pulled out my tab punch and punched out the tab. I end up not using the tab for a couple of reasons. One, it didn't really fit for me. Two, I feel like right now I am using that thing all over the place and I don't want every spread I create in the next couple of weeks, months um, to have a tab on them. So I'm trying to refrain from putting a tab on every single thing. But my go-to always is to grab a tab and stick it behind the photo like you see here. I love that look, but I need to make sure I don't do it on every single spread. Maybe you have something like you gravitate towards and you feel like you put it on every spread you create. It's hard to break that habit, but I'm trying. Okay, so now I've gone back into the little product kit I have on my desk. And again, I'm gonna ditch the tab idea and I've pulled out a little scrap of paper. Now this is the back of a branding strip. These were all 12 by 12 papers that I had cut down for this kit and I love to use the branding strips. I keep them if I can because it's always just that extra little bit of color or pattern that you might end up wanting to use. So don't throw away your branding strips. Look at them in a way that you can use them in your project. So now I'm just going to start getting everything into my spread here. So I sat here and I looked at this white paper here for a second and it felt a little boring to me. I wanted to add a little extra element to it, give it a little more dimension. So I am going to tear the, 
the side, the edge off rather, and I'm gonna back it with that orange paper. I love the way the bright orange looks behind that white um, type right, typewritten paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down into my book. Of course, I ran out of adhesive. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And while I was grabbing adhesive, I noticed that I had these black photo corners. So I put those on my desk as well. Now, shortly here, you're going to see something that I think is hilarious pop into the video. My toddler came into the room. Usually she naps when I do these, but today she was awake and she's going to start pulling things off my desk. And with the speed of this video, I think it's absolutely hilarious that this little hand keeps creeping in and it made me think of the Adams Family, the thing, that little hand that creeps in. And typically I would have probably edited that out, but because this is a Halloween video, and because it's absolutely hilarious to me that she did that, I thought I'd leave it in. So if you want a good laugh, pause, go back 30 seconds, watch it again, and watch that tiny little hand creep in. She'll do it again a few more times, and I don't know why, I just think it's super funny. I really honestly don't think I could have scripted it better if I wanted to or had tried. So, okay, back into the process. So I've gone ahead and I've just adhered both of those papers down. So that's going to be the right side of my spread. And then I'm going to start working on the left side. Now, as you can probably tell by looking at that paper that I just flipped over, this paper is printed, like I said, on copy paper. And I really, really like doing that when possible because it really helps to minimize the bulk in a traveler's notebook. So I highly recommend if you're able and it works out well, sometimes printing on copy paper might not look that great, but for this paper, it totally worked. So um, experiment sometimes with how you print things on different papers and see what you like better. There goes that tiny hand again. I kept pulling stickers off my desk just to give her something to do. And I was trying to not give her like my good stuff. <laughs> so like here, you get the dollar store stickers that I just threw into this kit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put down these photo corners. I really loved how that gave the, the photo just an extra little finish. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start playing around with all the elements that I wanna put onto this spread. I really struggled with these little pumpkins. Again, these are from the Kelly Stamps Digital Booyah Collection. Um, I had just filled them in on Photoshop, it just, it just with the paint bucket tool, I just filled them in with the orange, but I was really having a hard time placing them they kind of started to feel like they didn't fit with the spread. So I've gone in and pulled out this little bit that says Hocus Pocus. The Hocus Pocus felt a little lost and I really wanted to bring in, <laughs> there goes that hand again. Here's where I said, here, take these and go away. <laughs> um, so I wanna bring in that typewritten paper over onto the left side of the spread. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this extra little piece and I don't really care that it's, it's not the same um, direction. I don't really want you to be able to read the words. I just want to bring in that element. So I'm also going to tear the paper again. And for some reason, when I'm tearing paper, I always seem to tear it wrong. Like I want the ripped piece to be on the outside or if that makes sense, I want that to be showing. And I kept for whatever reason, flipping it around and getting it wrong. But in the end, I finally got it figured out and I get it into the book. And then, like I said, I just need to work on the um, right side and figuring out how to put these elements down. I thought about keeping the perforated edge, um, but it looked kind of unfinished. It looked like it didn't really belong. So I took that out. I just trimmed the edges and then to carry over the banner look of the Hocus Pocus piece, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and trim off one edge, one side of each of these elements to create that little banner. I'm sure it has a word, a technical term for what that is, but if you guys have been watching my videos now, you know that I am terrible at technical terms. I can't figure out color co colors and I can't figure out terminology. So we're just, we just go with it. Um, but I wanted to duplicate that um, look. So I've gone ahead and done that. Okay. Last thing I need to do is get this vellum piece in. So I've grabbed a glue pen and unfortunately that glue pen is a little bit dry. So I grab my fine liner bottle. I have it loaded up with just some Elmer's craft glue. I'm gonna run a bead down the seam and then I'm gonna just push this little piece of vellum right into the um, gutter to the seam. Close up the book and let it dry. So I just need to add a little weight and this spread is done. 
thing decides to creep back in for a second. She really wanted to grab that tab, but I was able to put her off and call us one done. I don't often document Halloween, but I might have to change that because working with these colors and this combination was so fun and just something different, something I don't normally do. So now I'm kind of looking at Halloween in a totally different way and I will definitely be documenting more of our Halloween in this, this manner because what fun. This stamp set was a blast. The colors are so fun and rich and vibrant and making this video for you guys was truly super fun between the music and thing coming in for her little debut. Okay. Well, thanks friends so much for watching. If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And then finally, don't forget to hit that little bell so you're getting notifications of when new videos are posted. Thanks friends. And I'll see you next time.